All right, welcome back. This is a continuation of the last video. I ended up cutting that one before the day ended, and we still made quite a few dives and saw some really cool fish. So that's what this one is. If you haven't seen the last one, go check it out. And before we get into this, there's an update at the end of this video. I've got some good and bad news, kind of an explanation for the lack of videos here lately, and kind of an announcement. So stay tuned to the end if you're interested in that. But for right now, as far as the diving, if you remember last video near the end, I actually made a dive down near the bottom to scope it out and ended up seeing a big red snapper. So when I got up to the surface, I told George and he ends up going down and shooting it. But during the dive, he said he saw several more. So when we got his fish in the boat, on ice, I was like, let's get back in there and see if we can go get another one. We are really warm mentally. I was in the zone and I was confident enough in doing this because I had George here, a really good diver, to spot me, to go down and push the depths and hunt. Having someone there to watch you on your way up really adds a level of comfort that makes me confident enough to even attempt to do what we're doing. So given that I do have a really good spot and help in the case that I might need it, I'm planning on going down near the bottom and trying to shoot one of these red snapper. All the while though, keeping my eye out on the outside of the rig for an African Pompano cruising by. If you remember last video, all day I was waiting and looking for an African Pompano. There's a chance some come cruising through and I really wanted to get one. So on this descent here, you'll see me pull up. I scope the bottom a little bit, but I'm looking out for these African Pompano. So that is the idea. I'm just gonna let this dive roll raw and then I'll talk more about it when we're heading back up. Alright, so I scoped around for African Pompano, got a good look at the bottom there, but I did not see any red snapper. And now I'm actually going to talk about my critique of that dive. After watching this back over and even in the moment, I realized how I could have gone about that, getting to depth much more efficiently so I could stay down there longer to hunt. And what I did was... I pulled up and I started looking around. That one caused me to have to exert more effort moving my head around, but it also changed the angle of my body, slowing my descent down, and I even got off track. You saw I was a lot farther away from the rig later in my descent than where I was when I started it. So basically by pulling up, it threw me off the rig and resulted in me having to use a lot more effort redirecting here back up current diagonally over to where I wanted to land on the bottom where it was clear. 
and it slowed me down because of that extra drag of my body being at the angle, not up and down, which is really inefficient. And I'm already pushing my depth and hunting abilities. So after that, by the time I get down here, I'm already pretty spent and having to head back up. I don't have as long of a time as I could have had to check things out. The big takeaway is for me to get down and hunt this depth range with time, I have to eliminate that inefficiency during my descent. I can't be pulling up to look around, say, in this case, for an African pompano. I just got to commit and eliminate all extra efforts and movements that aren't helping me get down to the depth. On that pipe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a... yeah. All right, so we decided to give it a few more whirls. Here I'm breathing up once again. And as I just put on the screen, the current was really picking up. That swell surge was picking up this afternoon, making it a bit difficult to get as relaxed as I wanted to. But I was still feeling in the zone Definitely good enough to get down there and give it a look. George and I decide we're going to make one more dive each and and then move to dive one more spot before we called it. But once again, the critique, the takeaway is the same on this one. I was a little bit better about staying on a line on my descent, but I still pulled up and started looking around, which... Then again, in the moment, I was looking for African pompano, but in terms of efficiency and getting down to the depth and hunting a red snapper, having more time, the takeaway is I could have been better the way I went about it to hunt longer. So, not going to focus on that here. I'm just going to walk through the dive, talk about what I was thinking in the moment. So like I said, last dive, last deep dive of the day, once I got about as relaxed as I thought I can get, given that current and swell surge picking up, I made my duck dive, had a really smooth entry, got a really good push there. And here I'm just finding a relaxed rhythm, a really long kick so I can get a push down to the depth where I start to become negative and then I can use that to push me down with less effort. So here I'm starting to free fall a bit, letting up on my kicks. I can see the bottom now so I'm scoping around. It's really getting murked up from that current picking up, but you can see just good enough. There's some mangroves, some sheep's head. Here I hold on to the rig so I can stop kicking and save energy and take a longer look. And I remember really feeling the pressure at this depth. I'm not very used to diving this deep, and I remember my lungs just felt super compressed. So something to get used to down at that depth, your lungs are actually a quarter of their natural size. So quite a bit of pressure. And then on my ascent, I was really just focusing on staying composed and not rushing to the surface. It was a long swim up. And of course, I had George watching me super closely, as always. Overall, good dive. Got to take a good look down there at the bottom. Just no red snapper. Woo! I think I was probably about uh, six feet off the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That current's ripping. Yeah, it picked up a lot. 
I'm good to move. Okay. It's it's starting to get murky on the bottom. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to make out what's what's down there. I think it's stirring up this this wind chop stirring everything up. Yeah. 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 I know. It's, it's not often. Okay, so we moved spots, and right when I hopped in here, swimming over to this section of the rig, I noticed there was big amberjacks just swarming up really shallow. So we started making dives to check them out. It isn't season, so we're just going to look at them, but that was cool with me is not often these things come up for you to be able to hunt them, or in this case, just check them out while free diving. So, just gonna enjoy it. I figured I would spark the curiosity of these things if I just went over and laid on one of the rig legs like I had been doing much of the day while I was looking for African pompano. So I make my way over, get a good look of the interior of the rig here, and then boom. These things are right up in my face checking me out. Got some barracudas there as well. Super cool. And then on my way up, out of nowhere, this juvenile Kubera snapper just appeared out of that murk cloud. Checking out the action. Is that Gubera? Uh, a little juvenile Gubera right there. Oh, it's a dark, it's a real dark. Say what? It's like a real dark mangrove. Yeah, that was Gubera. Okay. So here's George's cam. He made a dive to go down and check it all out as well. You can see him off to the side there. Schooling. And here he's got some nice mangroves come up, an angel fish on the rig there. And then these amberjack came right back in. And then there's that kubera came back up. These fish were super curious, acting like they knew it wasn't season. But yeah, at this point in the day, I was pretty worn out. I hadn't gotten much sleep the night before got down here really really late and we've been diving all day especially after those deep drops I was worn out so not going super deep I was just doing dives similar to what I've been doing all day just going down 40 or 50 feet I think I made a couple deeper drops but I was just posting up on one of these horizontal rig legs and scoping around like that You can see here that current was really pushing as well. So I really wasn't able to get as relaxed. You can see I'm moving around a bit more than ideal. 
Best case scenario, you want to be up here on the surface, not having to move at all, just floating in space. At that point, you can just get extremely relaxed, and that's when you dive your best. But conditions don't often let that happen. But here is my last dive for the video. Got some barracudas hanging out inside the rig there. And there you can see some mangrove snapper. We've been seeing them all day long. But I was waiting, looking for African pompano or red snapper and those grouper here you can see I'm scoping around this is a little bit deeper I'm trying to get an eye for what's down there without punching all the way down and these amber jacks were just doing loops coming to check us out That one was a stud. So there you go. Here you can see just how many barracudas there were. Wild. But that's about it for the diving.